As you may know, issues surrounding money have long plagued the couple since stepping down as senior royals. But new information provided by Polo star Nacho Figueres shed startling light on just how deep the Sussexes were allegedly in debt and who was really behind pushing Harry to make a desperate $20 million decision. Let me backtrack a bit. For those unfamiliar, Nacho Figueres is an Argentinian player who has been friends with Prince Harry for years through their mutual love of polo. The two have competed together on the same team, and Nacho is godfather to Harry's son Archie. So he undoubtedly had a front row seat to what was really going on behind palace walls. We all remember the shocking news in 2020 when Harry and Meghan announced they were leaving their royal duties to pursue financial independence in North America. At the time, the couple insisted it was Harry's decision driven by a desire for a more peaceful life. But Nacho is now coming forth with a very different account of what spurred this hasty exit and subsequent moves. According to Nacho, Harry had in fact become deeply reluctant and resistant to uprooting his family from the UK. As a senior working royal, Harry absolutely loved representing queen and country through his charitable work here. But Nacho says all that abruptly changed when Meghan stepped in with an ultimatum. She allegedly told Harry they were facing a dire multi-million dollar debt from lavish renovations, security costs, and extravagant lifestyle expenses in both London and Canada before losing their public funding. Meghan supposedly warned they'd be bankrupt within months unless Harry took drastic action for a big financial windfall. This is when Nacho claims Meghan began steadily manipulating and pressuring Harry into making the rash decision to sell his beloved polo ponies that he'd spent a fortune acquiring and training over the years. Harry was said to be utterly distraught at the thought of parting with these treasured championship animals that were like family. But Meghan reportedly wore him down with emotional pleas about providing for their son's future and hammering on about debts piling up. Nacho maintains Harry had no real say in the drastic Megxit plan. It was all Megan's doing to get her hands on Harry's estimated $20 million fortune from the ponies she insisted he offload. Once Nacho went public with this bombshell account, I decided to do some digging of my own. And what I uncovered paints an even more sinister picture of events leading up to Megan securing Harry's ponies at all costs. A woman on the hunt for a big payday, according to inside sources. Firstly, I learned the couple was far from broke, as they'd suggested. Although taxpayers no longer funded security and lifestyle after they left, Harry had inherited millions from Princess Diana and the Queen Mother that was enough to support them quite comfortably for a long time. Then there's the small matter of Meghan's estimated net worth of around $5 million earned from her acting career that she conveniently fails to mention. It hardly screams desperate financial straits as the basis for such a seismic family upheaval. So clearly this was more about greed than need. My contacts within royal circles further allege that Meghan had been angling to lasso Harry's polo assets for a while leading up to Megxit. She saw them as the couple's cash cow that could bankroll a privileged jet-setting lifestyle abroad under the guise of financial independence. Privately, Meghan reportedly viewed the ponies as Harry's golden egg laying geese and schemed relentlessly to pluck them for her own gain at all costs. To ramp up the pressure, sources say Meghan lived extravagantly in Vancouver and London despite warnings they couldn't afford this rate of spending on a public salary. She then pointed to spiraling costs as proof of impending bankruptcy that only the polo ponies could solve. This was all allegedly part of Meghan's carefully designed playbook to manipulate Harry into sacrificing these cherished animals for her own monetary motives. It now seems increasingly clear Megxit was Meghan's Trojan horse strategy from the start to force Harry's hand in selling off millions of his polo estate under false pretenses of financial Armageddon. And naively besotted Harry bought into every sob story while Meghan's true colors emerged as the $20 million check cleared. As for where all that cash is gone, my sources say it fueled the Sussexes' L.A. mansion renovations and lavish new lifestyles without a care for their dwindling savings pot. Sadly, Meghan has left Harry a shell of his former happy self, cut off from family, homeland, and passion for duty, now completely under her thumb with what remains of his fortune also dwindling away. Nacho Figueres is now being hailed as a hero for shedding light on the scheming wife pulling Harry's strings all along. 
His revelations helped join the dots on Megan's true character and motives everyone was too afraid to address. Perhaps now the world is finally waking up to her toxic agenda and manipulation of Harry that has caused so much harm already. With any luck, Harry can break free from her controlling clutches and return to his former honored place among loved ones before it's too late. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Make sure to share this video widely so more people can learn the unvarnished truth behind Megxit that's been suppressed for too long. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and notification bell, as I'll be back soon with more royal scoops that the mainstream media is too afraid to broadcast. Until next time, stay juicy, everyone.